Hey everyone, I'm Arkansas Storm Team Meteorologist Alex Libby. In this weather blog, we're talking about kind of a wild weather day. On Monday, we have a storm system rolling in. With this system, there's going to be a ton of wind energy. So there's going to be a lot of wind before the thunderstorms get here. There's going to be the potential for thunderstorm severe winds over 60 miles per hour. And then behind the thunderstorm, still strong winds just out of the north, out of a colder direction. So right now, that system's still pretty far off to our west. We're not really dealing with much as of now but on monday we have wind advisories already in effect this is for non-thunderstorm winds wind gusts over 40 miles per hour we also have a high wind watch that could likely be changed into a high wind warning over parts of eastern arkansas we have that severe weather risk as well look at that level one two and three severe thunderstorm risk in arkansas you can see most of the state just very low not too concerning for most of central and northern Arkansas, but we actually have seen an increase for that level two and level three risk over southeast parts of the state. That's where there is going to be enough storm energy to create strong enough storms to potentially produce tornadoes. That main threat is going to be south of Arkansas, but southeast parts of the state, there is that threat. The main risk, though, with the thunderstorms, within those thunderstorms, is going to be wind. Wind gusts over 60 miles per hour. That's within the thunderstorms, but I can't rule out a couple brief tornadoes over parts of southern Arkansas. No hail risk with this event and really no flooding risk. The reason there's no hail risk is there's not enough storm fuel to create those large hailstones. So it's really going to be a wind event, whether that's wind from a severe thunderstorm or wind with a weak tornado in parts of southern Arkansas. Now let's talk about the timing. That's really important. Because if they're going through in the morning, they're not going to have as much fuel. That's why that window for severe weather is actually pretty small. So Monday at 2 a.m., temperatures will be cool. Not a ton of fuel for the thunderstorms. So just probably heavy rain, thunder, and lightning. Then as they work into central Arkansas around 6 a.m., they're going to get a little bit more fuel. And especially as they move into the Little Rock Metro around 10 a.m. to noon, they'll have enough fuel to create some gusty winds, maybe over 60 miles per hour. But the window for even stronger thunderstorms is going to be later in the evening. Here's 2 p.m., still storming here in Little Rock. And then by around 5 and 6, that's when we'll have that heating of the day. We'll have some more humidity. And that's where that window is for the potential for tornadoes in Louisiana, Mississippi, and maybe parts of southeast Arkansas. Again, that risk is very, very low. And they'll be out of here by around 9, 10 p.m., on monday evening and then we're going to see a big drop in temperatures behind it we can also see some pretty good rain totals rain amounts over two inches possible for a big portion of the state again for most of us little rock points north the risk for severe weather is very very low not too concerning but in southern arkansas i want you to be weather aware if you haven't already download that arkansas storm team app